In this video, I will focus on hypertension and a wireless blood pressure monitor from Wheatings. Quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Wheatings, nor was it presented to the company prior to the publication. Before we get to the review, however, let's start with describing the disease it's actually aiming to help with. Hypertension, or high blood pressure, is a medical condition characterized by persistent elevation of blood pressure in the arteries. In every person, the blood pressure varies throughout the day, depending on the activity, time of day, emotional state, salt or alcohol intake, and that is completely normal. However, in over a billion people, it remains elevated throughout the day or night, irrespective of the above-mentioned factors. When elevated for a prolonged period of time, despite being initially asymptomatic, it may lead to some serious conditions, such as coronary artery disease, atrial fibrillation, or stroke. How important is it? Well, one analysis from 2010 attributed 18% of all deaths to hypertension. Hypertension diagnosis is based on blood pressure measurements, and those can be done with three methods. One, during an in-office visit by a qualified medic. Two, during a 24-hour automatic uh, blood pressure monitoring or ABPM study. Or three, at home, using a dedicated device in regular intervals and standardized manner. The thresholds required to establish hypertension diagnosis are different in Europe and North America. But regardless of the definition, both Americans and Europeans agree that optimal blood pressure values are below 130 over 80. To achieve those values, both lifestyle modifications and pharmacological interventions are being applied. Lifestyle modifications consist of the following. Giving up smoking, reducing your salt and alcohol consumption, normalizing your body weight, following an established diet, a diet that was studied in hypertensive patients, and exercising regularly. In order to measure BP, a classic manual or automatic blood pressure monitor has to be used. The manual device uh, requires a use of stethoscope and detecting so-called Korotkov sounds. However, this is basically reserved for medics and let's leave it as that. A variety of automatic uh, blood pressure monitors also exist. They usually consist of a small battery powered unit and an elastic cuff that is put around patient's wrist. In this method, the measurements are done by the device itself and the user is presented with three values. Systolic blood pressure, which corresponds to the uh, pressure generated by the heart during its contraction. Uh, the diastolic pressure, which is the pressure of the blood that is present uh, in the arteries during heart relaxation. And heart rate, which is the number of times heart contracts per minute. Those three values, recorded over time, can be presented to your primary care physician in order to either establish hypertension diagnosis or to monitor the efficacy of treatment that he or she has prescribed. This method is called uh, home blood pressure monitoring and is widely accepted for diagnosing and following up patients with hypertension. Okay, now that we have our hypertensive background, let's talk about Wheatings Connect. Wheatings is a French company founded in 2008. It produces a variety of health-related devices such as blood pressure monitors, smart sleep tracking systems or smart scales. Wheatings Connect is a new version of a previously available blood pressure monitor from the company. It costs $99 and consists of a soft uh, elastic cuff that is attached to a master unit with a color LED display and a rechargeable battery. The device itself has only one button that is used to start a measurement or you can set it to also start three measurements in a row and it uses the color LED display to display results value by value. The results are accompanied by a color-coded uh, feedback that is based on the either European Society of Hypertension or American Heart Association guidelines. Apart from a relatively simple uh, BP measurements uh, with the device, the more complex side of the whole thing is available through a companion app uh, called HealthMate. The app is available on both iOS and Android and allows you to observe BP trends over time, as well as make notes and participate in Wheatings health programs. 
Now let's talk about its accuracy. According to user manual, it's supposed to provide you with readings that are within uh, plus or minus three millimeters of mercury from the actual value. In order to test that promise, I've done a bunch of measurements in my outpatient clinic and compared the Connect to a automatic blood pressure monitor from Omron as well as a classic manual blood pressure meter. Even though it's supposed to only be used on the left arm, I've done measurements on both arms as I usually do in my uh, new patients. The results? Uh, well, most of the measurements, uh, the difference between the devices was actually within the margin of error of less than 5%. In the rare cases where there were some discrepancies, uh, the Connect was actually more in line with the classic manual blood pressure meter rather than Omron. Overall, Connect did really well. None of my patients had uh, systolic blood pressure over 150 millimeters of mercury. However, Wittings promises a uh, measurement range of up to 285 millimeters of mercury, which hopefully you will never need. Now, who is it for? Who can benefit the most uh, from it? First and foremost, patients that have already been diagnosed with hypertension will easily appreciate its uh, simplicity and portability, as well as the ability to save PP trends. Even though you should not modify your treatment yourself, presenting the readings obtained by Wittings to your uh, primary care physician will definitely help them assess the efficacy of the treatment he or she has prescribed. To facilitate that, HeartMate app allows you to quickly export your BP values over time to either a PDF file or an Excel file. Furthermore, making notes in the companion app will help you in becoming aware of impact of certain meals, drugs or activities on your BP values. Secondly, it does seem like a great screening tool for those of us who are at risk of developing hypertension. And who isn't? Most of us have our BP measured only once in a while. And since hypertension is very often asymptomatic, it can remain undiagnosed for a long period of time. Obtaining regular readings with a device like Connect could actually help pick it up earlier in its earlier phase and prevent uh, development of its complications. The third group that will appreciate uh, Connect is my fellow MDs. Connect seems like the perfect morning rounds companion. It's slim, it's light, it's portable, it's wire free. It comes with a rechargeable battery, bright LED display, and allows you to assign readings to a number of uh, users that you can specify in the companion app. On the other hand, it should not be disinfected with alcohol-based solutions, and it cannot be used on patients with R circumference of over 42 centimeters, therefore eliminating some of, the, of these patients. The cuff is not replaceable, so if it doesn't fit, you must use another device. These are some serious limitations, uh, but still, the portability factor and the wirelessness make it a really tempting alternative to a classic automatic uh, blood pressure monitor, especially that some of them have the same flaws without any of the benefits. In terms of the battery, I didn't have a chance to test the promised six months. Uh, however, performing over 50 measurements in a short period of time have actually depleted the battery of uh, less than 10%. A USB-C port would be nice instead of the available micro-USB, uh, but still you won't need to use it too often anyway. Now, could it serve as a 24-hour ambulatory blood pressure monitor or an ABPM? You cannot set it to perform regular measurements in the app. All you can do is actually uh, turn on the triple measurement and it's going to perform three measurements in a row. You can choose the interval. The maximum is 120 seconds, but that's it. Uh, you cannot uh, set it to perform readings throughout the entire day. So in order to have those values recorded over uh, 24 hours, you would actually need to set a timer and then manually uh, turn it on, which is um, feasible, but still it was not validated for that. It cannot be used during exercise and also the nocturnal readings would be impossible given that uh, the user would have to wake up every 30 or 60 minutes in order to manually start it on. And obviously that alarm clock would uh, raise the blood pressure of even the most normal tensive person. So to sum up, is uh, Weedings Connect worth its price? Well, if you have hypertension, uh, if you consider yourself at risk, or if you are simply tired of carrying a wired uh, BPM around your neck during morning rounds, then I would say yes. 
you can definitely get a cheaper device that will provide you the same accuracy. However, what Beatings adds on top of the other devices uh, for the premium price uh, is the undeniable convenience it comes with. And it's a result of uh, lightweight, ease of use, and lack of wires. All right, that's been it. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, uh, hit that subscribe button and see you in the next one.